men's basketball assistant coach Cody Feger. Wasn't which, he just in here? It was the second time in like I don't know two or three weeks, this is right? Great. Yeah, right before uh, I headed off to Dallas to go recruit. So yes. second time in here. This okay. place is awesome. It's great. Let's have one of you in here every week. Let's yeah, no, I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. I love making decisions in the moment, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, Okay. yeah. yeah <laughs> the I'll production staff's like, sorry, what? Yeah. Um, we'll tackle recruiting and Jake Toulson in just a moment, but the father and son's basketball camp is always a hit at BYU, um, and we were just talking about it. I want to take my son Jax to it next year. Why, why is that the thing to do at BYU, the father and son's basketball? It just team? happened over the just week. Happened. just okay. happened, yeah. We just got done yesterday at noon. I've worked camps since I've been 16 years old all over the country, from UCLA, Stanford, Indiana, everywhere. It's by far the best camp. You know, you get to see these fathers and sons bond together all weekend, right? These guys that make a ton of money, and they're sleeping in the dorms with their son. and It's just, it's just an unbelievable experience for these guys. And right? it's not necessarily a basketball camp. It's a sports camp. Like, yeah, there's lots of sports involved. I think. Yeah, right? yeah. There's gymnastics. We've got. Is there football. really gymnastics? Oh yeah. So, yeah, I'll tell you a story about a. We got a lot of hero dads. It's awesome. They got they got a pro day, so they'll run the forty yard dash. <laughs> um, I know all about Spencer, that, yeah, Cody. Spencer will be great. <laughs> I know all about it. So, so it's been it was awesome weekend, right? There's just so many different things they can do from chip and putt to uh, spike ball. You name it. Oh, kinda spike ball! It. I love spike. Ball. Yeah. Our, our staff did uh, me, Burge, and uh, Nick. We we did a little um, a little session on how we do analytics with our team and our player development, our scout reports. So they kind of got into sit into that too. So it was awesome. We we at least want the invite next year. Oh, of course. Just yeah, to, just yeah. to see at least that part. I want to see how you guys break it down. Yeah, that'll be so great. The best part was just these hero dads, right? So a dad was doing the gymnastics one. I don't know if he was doing the rings hold or what, but he tore his bicep. Oh! Oh, my what, goodness. Was it a dad we would know? No. Okay. No, no. There but, are a lot of but famous dads that come yeah. into town, right? Yeah, so we had a torn bicep. I can't tell you how many pulled hamstrings on the 40, <laughs> right? Um, That's your future. <laughs> so, so make sure you're loose. Make sure you're getting yeah. ready. Okay. Now, you don't have to be the hero, right? You don't have to do no. it. You can just get a seven-second seven 40. You can yeah. just do yeah. it for fun. Yeah. It's I've been telling Spencer that for a long time. It's about the kids at the end of the day. So hey, be I'm, ready. <laughs> be, be loose. Be nimble. Be ready Se to go. Seven-second 40 I can handle. <laughs> yes, you can. I know you can do that I, one. Yeah. Yes, I, I can no handle doubt. I can handle a 5-3-40, Cody. There okay. you go. Yeah, All right. Exactly. Well, that's cool. Yeah, uh, just happened over the weekend. I don't know when it becomes a available for next year but uh BYU sports camps right awesome okay jake tilson we can finally talk about him officially on the air because he uh was announced friday this is a big get this is probably as big a get a, I, I feel like this team could get right away right a guy from utah valley that was with you guys and he's coming back to byu coming back to byu i mean he's, he's a special special kid right a uh, special guy right he's a dad um so when he came over to us at Utah Valley, he, he like everything we talked about, everything he did, he, he listened exactly what we talked to him about, changing his body, right, and his leadership. Um, he became an everyday guy, which was most important. We had him worry about two things when he came over, um, being the best teammate he could be every single day and being the hardest worker every single day. Um, and that's kind of how he changed his mindset throughout his whole redshirt year helped him his junior year, and then his you know helped him his sophomore year. Then his junior year, he he uh, became WAC Player of the Year. So Burgess has actually a great story of um, recruiting. Um, in uh, he was in Atlanta, so Burge was out in Atlanta recruiting, and he saw Coach K, the real Coach K, Coach Shevsky, right, from Duke, and Coach Coach K. Walks by him, you know, Burge played for Coach K and gave each other a hug, and they were talking a bunch of different things. And then Coach K goes to Burge. He goes, hey, man, great get with Toulson. That's a great get. He's going to be a great player for you guys. And, you know, Burge is like, it's about time we beat you guys on a recruit, right? <laughs> um, because he had a chance at Duke. He had a chance and at Virginia, Duke. Virginia, right? And, and then Burge saw to Coach Bennett uh, later on that day and, you know, talking to him a little bit, you know, congrats, Coach, on the great year. And... Tony Bennett's like, oh, you know, BYU. Hey, Toulson, man, great get. We would have loved to have him. He's a great player. So Jake, Jake is going to be a big part of this year. I mean, he's a great kid. It, his best thing is going to be his leadership. He's phenomenal because he's an everyday guy. 
you know, and when, a, and when your best players can be an everyday guy and hold other guys accountable and he's in the gym more than anyone, he's in our film room more than anyone, um, it, it's going to be a great impact for us. I he's, think ch he's chippy too. You talked about oh, yeah. you know, Zach Wilson and guys like that. Being, he is a chippy dude on the court and he's relentless. He's every day. You need those guys. I know that sometimes BYU has this idea of like, oh, it's a bunch of return missionaries that are good. Like, yes, that's important, but you're here to compete. You're here to win. So you need a certain level of fire. Yeah. And it sounds like Jake has that. Yeah. Yeah. And he, like he said, he's done his individual stuff. He, you know, he won whack player there. He wants to win at the end of the day. And that's, that's something he's going to really help with his team, his leadership, his winning, his persona. Everything he brings to this team is going to be huge. We're talking about perennial national contenders with Duke and Virginia, and he chooses to come back to the school he originally left, BYU. Why? Why did he do that? The biggest thing, I think, is because he really believes in Coach Pope, right? He loves Coach Pope. Coach Pope's been there with him since day one. He believes in him. Uh, he's an incredible leader. Coach Pope finds different ways to push buttons every single day, and that's something Jake needs, right? Jake could have gone to Texas Tech, right? They, Arizona, Arizona State. I mean, it, it's it's amazing the list of all the – Michigan, right, of all the list of schools that wanted Jake, and he decided to want to play his last year with uh, – Coach Pope here. So. And like you guys, he probably doesn't even have to move. Which is, he doesn't which have to move. Very convenient. <laughs> you know? Very lovely. Yeah, it's great. I, I didn't realize how good of a shooter he was. Now I'm going to go next level in shooting. A 180 guy. So typically that's a 50 from the field, 40 from three, 90 from free throw. He's not. He's two of those three, but he's 183.6 on that. He's just an amazing shooter. He's really efficient, right? He takes all great shots at, at, at great times. He knows how to get to his spots and score. Um he is relentless at being perfect at that is every single day, right? He's working on his finishes, catching and shooting threes. He's got a uh, post-up game too, right? Oh, yeah. He's, in, he's incredible in the post, right? He just makes the easy play. Um, and we had a good three-point shooting team at Utah Valley too, right? And so Jake, could, Jake makes people better. The best thing I can say about Jake offensively um, is he makes other players better. And, yeah, being a 183 guy. And like I said during the break here, there was like a 15-game stretch in the year where he was like a 195. Woo! That's incredible. That's, that's great I mean, shooting. Th th those are crazy numbers. Crazy numbers. Cody Feger, men's basketball assistant coach with us on BYU Sports Nation. What was the timeline like in recruiting Jake back to BYU when all these other schools were in the mix? Like how much of a window did you have with him before you got this thing finalized and, and he was decided on BYU? Um, I mean, you know, we've kind of had a – as soon as he put his name in the portal, right, and um, it was like a two, three-week window where we'd have great discussions, and, you know, he had great discussions with Coach Pope and the rest of the staff, and, yeah, I mean, it wasn't it wasn't a crazy amount of time because he, he's been at a couple of different programs. Like, he knew what he wanted, right? He knows what, what, what's, what makes him comfortable and what helps push him, what, what helps him get great at the end of the day, and that's what he wants to be. Like, he wants to be a pro. And he's going to find the best possible way for him to, for him, for that to be possible. We joked about the schedule, but uh, any idea when we'll have <laughs> non-conference? The I'm, league releases the conference schedule, but you guys release. Yeah, so the league re uh, releases that in August, and then Jake, or sorry, why am I talking about Jake again? But Jake's Jake, on the mind. Jake's on the mind, but um, our schedule should hopefully be done in the next three weeks. We okay. Got, we got four games we still have to get, um, so that's going to take a little bit of time, but. Hopefully in the next three weeks. Who's in charge of that? Is it one of you? Me. I'm you? In okay. Scheduling. So I did that at Utah Valley. Gotcha. It was awesome. It was just a little bit different, right? So we had to bring in a ton of money at Utah Valley because it helped supplement the athletic department. Yeah. Here so you at go Butte. out on the road. You play Duke in Kentucky in a weekend yeah. or whatever, right? And that's what that's what that's what's so amazing that we won 23 games last year and 25 games last year because we have to be bought five times. Right, so we're going mm. to Gonzaga, going to Duke, going to Kentucky. Now this place is a little different, where we can bring teams in, right? So you don't we have, have to be bought as much we, or we, at all, right? Yeah, we so don't have to be bought. Okay. So that that just that just changes things. Gotcha. Completely for us. Cody, great stuff. Uh, here's to no torn biceps <laughs> or pulled hamstrings. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> and uh, tone it down, hero dads. It's, it's, <laughs> it's okay. It's okay to be mediocre when you get into your uh, mid 40s and 50s, right? 
Okay. Yeah, just just let your kids run. Take fast. it easy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Let's give you some karma for the schedule. Yes, for those yeah. four games. Get it done. Good luck. We're looking forward to uh, what's on the slate. I feel like we know the eleven. We're excited about the other four. <laughs> Okay, thanks, thanks Cody. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Coming up, distance runner Clayton Young on securing two NCAA championship bids and the Cougars' domination in Sacramento. Yeah, that's the right phrase for it, domination. And between the lines, centers on BYU track and field, as they should. Record-breaking is the theme of the season. This is BYU Sports Nation. <laughs>